Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a super old battle for you today. Um, I'm pretty sure this was against someone that I met in um, the Abra's Asylum Zat, back when Abra's Asylum was the place to be. Uh, anyway, uh, his name is in the uh, description. I'm not even going to try to uh, parse it. Um, I'm using my Val team back before I'd redone it to be a UU team, so this is a standard battle um, back before Garchomp was banned. He leads off with Gliscor, um, and we're each going to set up our rocks this turn, which is cool. Um, oh wait, no, I go for the Earthquake predicting a switch? That was strange. I don't know what happened there. I think it was actually a misclick. So anyway, I'm going to go for, ahead and go for the Ice Shard, figuring it's 4x effective, it should be okay. Um, he's got a Yachi Berry, which um, is going to have its power, but I see even at full power, that wasn't going to do very much. He goes ahead and Earthquakes me, um, and that's going to do a decent chunk, I mean not an amazing amount. Uh, he goes ahead and Earthquakes me on the, on the next turn. Um, I think this is the turn that I go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, because um, it's always nice to have Stealth Rocks up. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call Peanut uh, back at this point, predicting the Earthquake, and going straight into my Rotom Wash Form. I miss this Rotom Wash Form. I know everyone runs Rotom Wash Form, um, and this is the very predictable um, Scarf set, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, he goes ahead and calls back his Gliscor, and goes ahead and sends out his Raikou. Uh, Raikou. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, he gets hit by the rocks, and, I'm, and uh, he exerts some pressure, and I'm pretty sure I go for the Hydro Pump here. Uh, yeah, and I do, and it's going to hit, and it's going to deal a large amount of damage, because Tachikoma is a beast, does not take him out, unfortunately, uh, and my second Hydro Pump misses, and he's now going to go ahead and go for the T-Bolt, um, which is going to hit me neutrally, um, is going to do a lot of damage, uh, and but I survive with 12 HP, and he dies to life or recoil, so that's awesome, but it also sucks for me because um, I'm going, you know, I'm going to have to switch out here because Infernic obviously carries a priority move, um, but I'm going to have to spin away those rocks before I can get Tachikoma back out. So anyway, predicting a Vacuum Wave or a Mock Punch, and indeed he uses Vacuum Wave, I switch into my Reunculus, thinking I can take anything from this guy. Just, I can take anything. And indeed, he's going to go ahead and switch. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Calm Mind on the switch. Um, I guess he predicted that I was going to talk it. Oh, that's why! Okay, so first turn... Um, I wasn't being an idiot. I went for the Earthquake because I predicted a switch into Espeon that he would predict my rocks. Um, but no, that's not what he did. So anyway, I go ahead and go for the, um, Calm Mind. He's gonna go ahead and go for the, um, the trick here. This is a Specs Espeon? No, this is a Bandit Espeon, uh, which is gonna completely ruin my day. And he's gonna get my Life Orb because this is back before I ran Toxic Orb. Had I run Toxic Orb, he probably would not have tricked me. Luckily, I went for the attacking move this turn. It does a whole lot of damage, even though it doesn't get boosted by uh, uh, Choice Band or anything. He's going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball here, but I'm at plus one, so I'm pretty certain that I can take this okay. Um, it's going to do a whole lot of damage. Like, whoa, what the heck happened there? Uh, it was a critical hit. And I'm like, oh, are you serious? Why? Uh, but oh well. And he's going to die to Life Orb, so that's two times that he's died to Life Orb Recoil upon taking out my Pokemon. Um, or, actually, no, two times he's died to Life Orb Recoil, the last time he didn't take out my Pokemon. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Peanut here with the hope of spinning away the rocks. Um, I know that he has a... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm getting my battles confused. Never mind. Um, he's going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast here, and I'm hoping that I can take it because Peanut is pretty darn bulky, and I am running max HP. Um, but unfortunately, no. Uh, he takes me out, Peanut is down, and now that's uh, two KOs in one, because when I send out my, um, whatchamacallit, when I send out my, um, Rotom Wash Form, it's going to die to Stealth Rock damage. Anyway, um, my Embor is going to scare him out. He's going to go ahead and send out his Gliscor, um, which is a physical wall, is going to be able to take any hits from me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flame Charge here to get my speed up. Uh, you know, flame Charge on the Switch, that's the way this uh, the set runs. And this is back when this was a mixed set. Um, so uh, I pretty I do run the Grass Knot, and if I had any sense at all, I would go for it. But I, I went for the Head Smash, thinking do the most damage possible. And it's not like it's resisted, but that was a stupid move, especially considering it missed. Uh, I should run the Calcs. It's possible that Grass Knot would have KO'd. I'm not sure. Anyway, he's going to KO me with an Earthquake. 
and this battle is not going my way, a large part due to some really bad hacks. So anyway, I'm not sh oh, so I go ahead and send out Roomba here, which floats in the air thanks to an air balloon, um, and I'm hoping it has nothing to hit me with, so I go ahead and go for the substitute, hoping that he's going to switch. Um, he goes ahead and goes for the U-turn, uh, which is excellent because it is going, uh, because, um, I do get the switch, and I figure it's going to be good, uh, but he uh, he pops my air balloon, which isn't surprising, but I've got my sub up, so this is going to be excellent, uh, absolutely excellent, and he goes ahead and sends out Infernape, so I'm like, sweet, I'm kind of sub, I can probably uh, take out this guy in one hit, and it'll be sweet. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast, and that's obviously going to break my sub, I mean, it's possible that it could have missed, but, you know, it probably wasn't going to. Um, there is a strategy, I guess, that I could have um, gone... No, I'm being stupid. Ignore what I was just about to say. I go for the T-Bolt, and I'm just really hoping that this is going to KO, and indeed it does. Infernapes are pretty frail, and so I managed to take out his Infernape, and this battle's still going pretty evenly. Um, he goes ahead and sends out his Glide Score again, and I'm obviously going to have to... S well, I'm actually faster, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Fire, because it's the only non-resisted uh, move I've got, and I'm just hoping it's going to kill him. And... He survives with, like, 1 HP. I'm like, what? Oh my god, no, no! He's gonna go ahead and take out my Roomba with another Earthquake, um, and I'm like, oh god, how am I gonna take out this Gliscor? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and send out my Acelgor at this point, um, and I'm predicting him to roost here, and so I figure I can go ahead and recover back to full HP, um, as he roosts. Uh, and that way I'll be able to get off a much more powerful final gambit when the time comes. Um, but instead, he goes for the Earthquake. Uh, I guess maybe he doesn't carry the Roost, but it's not a Poison Heal Glide Score, so I don't know why he wouldn't carry the Roost. Um, so, uh, that really sucks for me. So now I'm gonna have to waste my, uh, Bug Jump, uh, KOing this Glide Score, and, uh, that's just lame. Uh, so now Jane is down to 253 HP, which isn't going to be enough to take out the majority of his team. Uh, the real problem with a Selgor, uh, Final Gambit of Selgor, is that it's Stealth Rock weak. And Stealth Rock is still pretty common in this metagame, so I know I can't take out that Garchomp. And so I'm going to go ahead and go for the um, Bug Buzz anyway, just to see how much it does. And he, it gets him down pretty low, but now he's going to go ahead and go for the Outrage. And of course that's going to take out my Selgor. I mean, that's not even a question. Um, so Jane is taken out, and I just don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, I go ahead and send out my Tachikoma, um, because it's my last Pokemon, and that is going to be the game. So, um, great game, Shibby. Um, that's what I'm going to call you, because that's what you call yourself in this battle. I'm not sure how to parse the twos. So anyway, I hope uh, you folks in the audience enjoyed that battle, even though it was kind of hacksy. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.